Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. So we are in Science 4, Quarter 4, Week 3. So for today's topic, we are going to discuss the importance of water cycle. And at the end of this lesson, you are expected to trace and describe the importance of the water cycle. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started! I have here an illustration. So look at the illustration, then what do you think is the illustration all about? Correct, it's a water cycle. So what are the different forms of water in our environment? The different forms of water in our environment are solid, liquid, and gas. Do you think each form of water is important? Yes! Why do you think so? Because the water that evaporated from the different forms or sources of water is needed in the formation of clouds. Now let's learn more of its importance as we proceed to our discussion. Water cycle displays a continuous movement of water within the earth and the atmosphere. The water part of the earth is called hydrosphere or water sphere. This covers three-fourths of its surface. Therefore, water covers a larger area of its surface than land. That is why the Earth is called the blue planet. Water gives the Earth its characteristics of blue color as seen from the outer space. Although there is a continuous cycle of water, you might wonder if there will come a time when we will run out of water. Do you know that about 97% of the water found in our surrounding is salty? Thus, only 3% of this water is fresh or potable. This very small amount of fresh water is 67% locked in the form of ice mainly found in Greenland and Antarctic. Therefore, only about 1% of the fresh water is found in rivers, lakes, ponds, and the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. Water cycle passes through different processes. These processes involved in the water cycle are evaporation, transpiration, condensation, and precipitation. Let's define first evaporation. It is the process in which liquid water becomes water vapor and rises to the air. If the water is heated by a sunlight, it will evaporate and become water vapor. Condensation. It is the process in which water vapor in the air turns into tiny liquid drops. Condensing water forms clouds in the sky. Again, the result of condensation is the formation of clouds. Next, we have the precipitation. It is the process in which water in the form of rain or snow falls from the clouds in the sky. Rain is the most common form of precipitation. Subsurface and surface runoff. It is the rain, snow melt, or other water that flows in underground streams, drains, and or sewers and the surface water sources. Next is the transpiration. It is the process in which some water within plants or trees evaporate in the atmosphere. Now, what are the processes involved in the water cycle? So we have the evaporation, the condensation, precipitation, the surface run of water, and the transpiration. So water or water cycle is very important because the water that evaporated from the different forms or sources of water is needed in the formation of clouds. And the life and other environmental processes will not continue without the water cycle. I think you are now ready for our exercise 1. So what you're going to do is match column A with column B. Just draw a line to connect your answers. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. So we have here the 5 description from column A. Then choose your answer in column B. Number 1. These are openings of the groundwater directly to the Earth's surface. Number 2. 
It flows from land into streams and rivers. 3. This is the crowned waters underground. 4. These come from evaporating water. And number 5. These are solid water found only in very cold countries. You have 5 minutes to finish this activity. Good luck! Okay, let's check your answers. So number 1. These are the openings of the groundwater directly to the Earth's surface. It is springs. Number 2. It flows from land into streams and rivers. The answer is letter A, rainwater. Number 3. This is the groundwater's underground. The answer is letter D, water table. And 4. These come from evaporating water. The answer is letter E, clouds. And 5. These are solid water found only in very cold countries. So the answer is letter C. Okay, who we'll got a perfect score? Wow, great job! Now let's have our exercise 2. Click thumbs up if the statement is correct and thumbs down if it is not. Number 1. The water cycle does not keep on moving. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? And the correct answer is thumbs down. Number 2. Transpiration is the process in which some water within plants evaporate into the atmosphere. Is it thumbs up? Or a thumbs down and the correct answer is thumbs up number three water is also used for cooking foods and cleaning homes is it thumbs up or thumbs down very good and the correct answer is thumbs up number four we have to conserve and use water wisely is it thumbs up or a thumbs down good job it is a thumbs up Number 5. One form of precipitation is the formation of clouds in the sky. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Correct. The answer is thumbs down. Did you get all the correct answers? Congratulations for a job well done! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you, goodbye, and don't forget to like and subscribe Teacher Reg channel.